That's right. You know, more harm than good. That's the message behind their campaign, and it really hits home here. It, those dozen deer found in woods right behind me, among them bucks, fawns, does, two of them pregnant, one with twins, all died after eating food left out by people that thought they were helping. This time of year, deer do what's natural, browsing for buds and old acorns. After a long winter with a deep snowpack, left them living off fat they stored in the fall. Yeah, I live just beyond those pine trees on the next road over. Christopher Huskin happens to be a federal wildlife officer, but on Friday he was just a guy from Southampton taking his daily walk with his dog through these woods when he came upon deer after deer lying dead on the side of the trail. And I thought if there were seven deer in a mile loop that I take out and back, uh, how many more are there and what killed them? So he called his friend and neighbor, fish and game conservation officer Graham Courtney. I immediately discovered on my way to meet him another dead deer um, that appeared perfectly healthy. Twelve in all, the region's wildlife biologist studying them right there in the woods. I was surprised at the number of deer. That, that surprised me that, you know, it appears that nearly that entire deer yard was killed. But he wasn't surprised at what he found in all their stomachs. Corn, hay, deer pellets put out by well-meaning humans. Deer digestive systems need time to naturally adjust to change. And if there's a sudden change in the food they're eating, it causes bad bacteria to grow. And the bad bacteria produces toxins, which then poisons the body. The conservation officer went door to door. Any neighbors who'd put food out cleaned it up, disheartened. Some people, it, uh, it was traumatizing for them, as it was for, for all of us that were out there. We all love wildlife, so it, it, was, a, it was a sad sight. Um, lesson learned here? Lesson learned, uh, wild animals need to stay wild. He says feeding deer, well, there's a lot of reasons not to. It brings them closer to traffic. It increases their density, which makes them more vulnerable to predators and to disease. So the reminder here, leave all wildlife alone. We're live in Southampton. Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.